Hello people YouTube, it's me again for another review. Sorry I didn't do no videos last week. Uh, the reason why I didn't do no videos last week is because I was a bit... Uh, I had no videos to do besides from... If I don't have... Because normally if I don't have no... Um, Transformers reviews, I normally don't do any videos for the whole week. But I'm going to try not... I'm going to try to actually do videos even if I haven't got Transformers reviews in that week. But this week we're going to do Transformers, uh, Beast Hunters, Ultra Magnus. And this is a repaint and re-sculpture of this guy. Of the uh, Prime Mold. So if I just take off the sword. And my hammer is telling me if oh, this is flat. I think it'd be flat already. Uh, it is a re sculpt of this figure. Uh, you can kind of see what the differences are uh, on uh, this one. Uh, on this one, it has no smokestacks. Um, a new uh, front piece here. Uh, new Orbot logo, it's in blue. Um, these bits are new. And I think I think the leg, the feet pieces are new, but the, it could just be me. Um, there's something else new besides from the the mold. It, it's a little bit of a remold. But anyway, let's just get on with the uh, the weapons it comes with. All right, when you get this whole entire big backpack of crap, but not. Exactly crap, but what you can do with it is if you split these open, uh, there's several uh, pegs here, and then they're just getting these holes back here. It's the same. It's the same peg hole system as Prime has on his. You just peg that, and there goes the hammer. It's the same peg hole system as the. Uh, Prime figure. That means if you wanted to put uh, the pro uh, the this backpack onto uh, Optimus, you can if you wish. But what the problem is with mine is as soon as I put the hammer into the slot, it wants to pop off the ha uh, the, the ha um, forge. There you go, there's um, Ultramanus in with the uh, backpack piece. The only thing it does is bulks up the back bit and gives it a bit of a wing design. But it basically it doesn't make it any better than the old one. You can you can make the wing the uh, the flying truck mode with this, but I I don't really do that. To be honest. Let's get, on, let's get on with the weaponry first. So put that on the side. Let me just cut my door. Because all I can hear is my dad's birds. Oh, yeah, when I say birds, I mean um, the flying ones, not the. Um, as as people call them. Um, but birds as girls. Um, but in that little bat pat piece, all what happens is this uh, unpaste on that, and there's a little peg hole there you basically just go like that and then these can pair on the side like so there you go that's the backpack piece but you get um, two missiles and then you get one ha uh, forge and then you get this backpack piece that I'll go on with la la after later when I've done the translation um, Good job to took the power to give it off this figure, off, the, off this one. They didn't, they didn't actually put it onto this one, but they left it off this. Good job. Uh, you can see that they've still got silver here, here. They've got smoke stacks. The same colored uh, wheels. Uh, different uh, paint scheme. There's no Autobot logo up here. Um, the front. This is a bit of a dark colour, but this is a bit of a lighter colour. It's the same colour uh, headlights, 
Um, different, uh, different hinge pace. I don't know why this is not pegged together. Um, that's it. Uh, different uh, front pits, as you can see. Uh, but anyway, let's get on with the transformation. Transformation is a little bit like this guy, but it's a little bit different in a way. Um, is it like minor tweaks to this to this mold? To this basically, it's the same thing. Let's say you just unpeg these, fold these to the sides like that. You want to you want to grab the legs and pull them right down like that. You want to pull the, the grill. No, you d actually no, you don't. You want to pull the t top pieces off, and you want what you do is pull the. The problem with this mold is it's um, really mine. Is it's really tight when it comes to the peg system on this. It's really effing tight on this mold on my mold. I don't know why, but it, it's it is basically killing me. So. Because on the on the main bright mold, it's not that tight, but you get the kind of the uh, the the back piece there. Next, what you want to do is you want to peg the uh, arms from there and push them on these pieces like this. Going up to the side like that. And a difference is if you there's a piece that hasn't actually, it wasn't actually put onto that mold. Onto this mold, there's this piece. So you just got to flip that up. Every time I transform this, I always leave that there. I don't know why. It's just I just do. Alright, then you flick up the head. Then you want to fold this up, peg that in, rotate the arms. Over the opposite side, like that. Then you want to rotate it to this, that, 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 like this, to so actually that piece there, that little tree, it's in. And it should just pe slightly peg in. Same so again on the side, you want to rotate it a little bit down, rotate it. Like so, and the peg, it should just peg, it doesn't like lock that way, it locks in that way. Rotate the arms, and then, uh, fold up the hands, and then you want to fold these little shoulder pads up. Then you want to bring the legs down, like so. Hold that the foot. You do, when you do this, these feet, you, get, uh, you feel a slight click. Then the lock, it basically locks in the feet. I think it's because it's got so much bulk up here, it kind of uh, ruins. Uh, kind of makes it a bit top heavy. But there is. Um, let's see if I can. There is Ultra Magnus. Uh, Ultra Magnus, in my own opinion, is a Right, he's a funny character to be, not like, not like, um, not like really funny, he's like, funny, fu he's like, because he thinks that while, um, uh, Prime's not around, he thinks that he can boss everyone around, um, if you haven't watched Beast Hunters, uh, here's a spoiler if you want to skip a couple of minutes. Uh, you most likely will be what uh, you already watched it, but anyway. Um, if you don't want if you don't want to be spoiled, well you basically you you you've missed your chance. But anyway, uh, in Prime you think um 
he bosses everywhere around while Optimus is dead. Well, not dead exactly, but he's out of commission. In a way. But anyway, um, here are the two moulds. Uh, well, the same mold. Here are the two moulds. You can see you can see a lot of paint difference in this mold in this mode. Uh, new head, head sculpt. I think he's got a little bit bigger than he was when he had this mode. I think he's got no. It's the same size. It's just the shoulder pads are making it look bigger. Uh, new head sculpt. Uh, new torso piece, including this piece here that you can not see on here. The, the new shoulder pads. It's it's this, but with a couple of uh, tweaks to it. Um, the translucent, translucent blue's gone from the arms. It basically, it's all filled in. Um, you got some pegs up here on the back. It's it's nearly the same thing on the back, but besides the smokestacks. Oh, my Optimus probably wants to fall over because mine has very loose joints. Um, let's just do that. There you go. Um, yeah, uh, with him you get a power as a weapon and the sword, and then with him you get way too, too many stuff. For one, you get the, uh, the forge of Souls Prime. It's a very small version of him of it, and you can just fit that straight into the hand, and it just fits perfectly. But d it's a bit. Too small in for my liking, being honest. Uh, and uh, it goes in both hands anyway. Uh, you get two missiles for the uh, rubber merge, you can shove them in here. I, I, I'll put one in there, and then um, if you want to fire the weapons, you can fold these, uh, these pieces down just to fire them. But I don't normally I don't normally show them off with these anyway, and then with the um, as well you get little clip pieces on the side. I think they're supposed to be for the missiles, or the, for something totally different. But anyway, um, uh, the last piece we got is the let's see if I bring that back a bit. The uh, the jet pack, the uh, backpack piece for the uh, vehicle. Mode. You can store everything on, on here, even in, in robot mode. What you can do is, if you fold these up, and then fold this out completely, and then you want to fold these down, and then you take these missiles and peg them into the, into the ones in the uh, the out yeah the inside would be that like that. Same again on the side. You can peg them here if you want to. You, you don't have to. And then uh, there's a hole there. Peg on the hammer. And you can basically literally just peg it on like that. Yeah, but the pro. Alright, just to say, if you know, do this, it's a pain in the ass just to get it on. Um, you're basically using the same pegs that he's used in his rubber mode. You've got these pegs here. And they basically peg into the holes into the backpack, and then it ba basically this just clips on to this this piece here. It locks on quite securely, but it just it kind of makes them a bit top heavy. But have we have actually have we actually we haven't seen this in the show have we? This big hunk of crap on the back of his back. We haven't seen it. Um, saying that this is the same mold as the prime mold, um, it, it can ha have this on him, but I don't understand why you would want to do that. If you want screen accurate, you don't add this on to prime. If you don't want screen accurate, well. And you want it into your own, own opinion. Try and then your, cho cho your choice, really, isn't it? Is it? Put prime there for now. But anyway, uh, articulation. You got ball joint at the top of the arms. You got full sixty degrees. But sometimes you get hindered by the back bit. You got swivel uh, lower lower than that. You got a hinge. You got a hinge there. 
It's very on mine. It's very loose. Um, we got ball joint for the hair, but does, you can't really move it because due to the plastic around it. You got um, ball joints at the leg. My on mine, they're a little bit tight when it comes up to this bit. It's that put pose. Uh, you got swivel underneath that. Yeah, hit the knee. They can go like that, and then you got a ball. All right, and then you got a ball joint and a hinge at the foot. You can get quite good um, poses out of this, but if I had to recommend one of these guys, I'd probably pick both. If I had to have a choice. If you don't want this backpack on, you don't have to have the backpack on. Uh, I choose not to have the backpack on what's on the shelf. Um, I wish that with the original version of this guy, it came with the proper weapons like the first edition did. But it didn't. All it came with is this little sword and a crappy power riser weapon. But anyway, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Uh, don't check. Don't forget to check out my Twitter. Check out the rest of my gameplays. The rest of the gameplays will be coming on the way. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget, and as I said, don't forget. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Transformers uh, Prime Beast Hunters Ultra Madness. Pick it up if you can find him. Um, I picked this up at my local entertainer uh you can find it basically anywhere that you want uh basically if you if they sell toys anyway uh thanks for watching bye